Hey guys, James here today and welcome to my Sims 4 Seasons Build by Overview. This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. So this lot may look like a complete mess and it totally is. As I started placing stuff down, I realized just how many uh, like sort of unique and decorative items that there are in the pack. And we'll get to them all. They're kind of just all over the place. And near the end, I kind of got a little bit lazy and they sort of just ended up outside. But I did prepare a few like little scenes that we can have a look at. Uh, but I think to start off with, we'll just go through. They have a bunch of uh, styled rooms as per usual. So if we jump into build by, I'll just show those right now. So, you know, when you go into build mode, you can pick out uh, existing rooms that have already been made. So if we go through to seasons, we actually have a bunch of them. So all of these here, I've placed them basically all in. In this section so we can have a quick look at them all uh so we got the new bathroom set like we'll go through all this stuff a little bit closer we got the a new bedroom set there little office i guess and then i, I don't even know what this is supposed to be like a I, I don't know like a foyer oh you know you know what that is probably a foyer like front door a uh, hallway through to the other side uh we got like a little gardening thing this one's cool little greenhouse area that they've got built there few outdoor living rooms, dining room, living room there, and another outdoor space. But let's go through uh, the sort of setup that I've got. Uh, so one thing I've noticed, and I said this uh, previously, if you watched some of my previous Sims 4 Seasons videos, uh, there's, there's a lot of new gameplay-based items. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of items that when we're in live mode, we can interact with and do some cool things with. So like selecting decorations, for example, for the house. And we'll go through all that stuff throughout this video. Uh, but that means that there's not a lot of like brand like new just set based items so we have a new living room set as you can see we've got these three new sofas right here well i guess a set of sofas so we got the sort of oh my god i'm all over the place we've got this sort of new uh triple sofa here and they all have a nice array of colors you can probably make them look quite modern or just really quite normal as well with some of the options which is nice so we got this basically in the three different sizes the three-seater, the two-seater there, and then the little armchair here. We also have a matching bay window that goes along with it that, again, has the same color choice. So all of these, like I said, have the sort of matching colors, like so. And then I believe that this table goes with this set quite well, as you can see. This is the matching coffee table. Whoops, that's a rug underneath. Matching coffee table that is also new. Uh, with the set there. So another two by two coffee table. We actually have another one as well, which is just a big wooden sort of block, which I actually thought would be quite useful in more of an outdoor setting. Or, uh, I mean, you could use it in a house as well, but I thought, for example, what I used it as is I built like a little greenhouse. I sort of put it in there and we'll have a look at that closer later. But there's two new coffee tables there. Uh, we also do have another living room set, which actually, you know what? I don't think I... Oh no, I did put it over here. So there's a, just a two-seater and a, and a little armchair. So these two here, which are also quite nice. I quite like them. Uh, but I think might be a little bit more specific to where you could place these ones. They don't seem, they're not as generic as the other ones in terms of styling. A little bit more stylized, but uh, have a nice array of colors that sort of go with each other quite well. So that's some new living room sets. We also have uh, a bunch of... There's, there's a lot of this is like all actually things that we don't have you know what i'm gonna say we don't have any new floor tiles there's literally no new floor tiles in this game so i've just placed down some existing ones just here and uh we do have some new wallpapers so the ones that i placed inside this we have there's only three new wallpapers oh, oh by the way this new you know what this new game update uh, it's kind of, wait, I'm trying to find some wall here. The new game updates really, it's, it's bugged at the moment. So when you like select a wallpaper, it like lags like hell. And same with flooring, I think as well. When you try to play stuff, it just gets really laggy. So apologies if that happens. But anyway, wallpaper, if we jump over here and we go to, uh, we'll just go packs by seasons. There's actually only three and they're very much more outdoorsy styled wallpapers rather than, I mean, you could use, again, you could use them indoors. Uh, and I did in this particular build, but I mean, they look way more suited for like sort of an outdoor part of a build. This one I have used actually, I think in the seasons build video that I did the other day. Uh, and then there's sort of the combination of the two here. So it's basically a set of new wallpapers that just go hand in hand with each other. So that's those. Um, while we're here, let's go through the build mode stuff. There are actually a bunch of new, really nice uh, front doors actually. And I say, I mean, they're front doors. They don't have to be. But, I mean, they very much look like front doors. So we have, uh... I need, I need a wall to test all this stuff on. I didn't really... That's the one problem with this setup that i got going on here. There's a lot of stuff, but I didn't really leave enough room to mess around with things. Oh, and now that I've done that... Oh. You know what? I need to... Give me... Give me... Oh my god. Rink. <laughs> yeah, that's a skating rink. There you go. I mean, obviously you can see a bunch of preview of stuff here. Uh, overall, like... I'm pretty happy with the, the new types of items that we have, but I wish we had more, like, regular sets. 
of like a living room, dining, kitchen. There's like there's a few new things here and there. Anyway, that's one of the new front doors. This is one of the other ones. I really like these two. I love having these sort of larger door pieces. Door pieces? I don't know. Windows attached to the doors, like as in one big set. They always look really, really nice. These two are no stranger to that fact. We also just have a single uh, wooden door just there as well to go along with it. And I believe... Um, is there another one? I think there is. I think we saw it just before. Hang on. Back to Seasons. Uh, and then, oh yeah, and then just the double door as well. So we got those. Uh, we'll get rid of that one because we already got that one over the other side. So these uh, obviously all have matching colors. One thing I did notice is this, I think this color in particular, some of the windows don't have it. So that one has it. And I'm not, yeah, see, okay. So this one, see how this has one extra swatch? Like if you look at there's one blank space. On this one, there's two. It has literally all the other colors that go with it in the same spots, except for the last one. And I'm not really sure what the reason, I don't know why I'm so far away. Um, I'm not really sure what the reason is for that. I don't know if that's an oversight in this particular window. Same with this one over here. These are obviously, these two windows are obviously in a set, like you get a set of three and then one. Like I would get it if they were a completely different style of window. And the same thing with this one here. But I mean, they all have the exact same color swatches except for that last one, which I don't, <laughs> that's why I'm like, I'm not quite sure what the deal with that is. It's a little strange. But I thought I'd point that out, just so you know. Uh, yeah, no, I really, the, the new doors and windows are quite nice. Um, along with the doors and windows, we do have a new fence, uh, which we've got here. You know what? Let me just go to, and I've obviously put it by the front of the house. We've got the new fence just here, which again, has a sort of matching, they've pretty much all got the matching colors, except for those windows there that are missing the one. Which I, again, don't know why. So I've obviously used the new fence here up on the balcony. We have the new columns that go along with it, which again, have the same sort of colors. They even have that last one, unlike these windows over here that, don't. Don't know why. Uh, and then we have the matching banister, of course, which has the same thing. We also have a couple of new stairs. So we've got these stone ones, which I'll just put here so we can see uh, in their entirety. Sort of stone steps there with a bunch of different colors too, um, just like that. And then we also have these stairs, which I really like. Very, very easy to use in a modern setting. Uh, or like I've used them here as like a little entrance to the greenhouse. It's going up there. And the good news is they do have a very simple white color scheme. So again, can go anywhere. Could be modern. Got the black stairs there. And I guess pairing these with like a, a glass banister. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. No, those are, I really like those stairs. Really, really nice new stairs there. So let's go get rid of those. Uh, we do also have a new spandrel, which goes along the top here, which if you don't know what spandrels are, the, the things that go above fences like that, in case you've never used these. I feel like some people don't, but we've got a new one. It's a very simple one, uh, but it sort of goes obviously hand in hand with all the new columns. And along with that, we do also have a new freeze, which we don't get that often. And I'm going to be honest, I don't really use them that often either. But there it is. I, I put it <laughs> alongside this glass roof. It look, like this building looks disgusting, but it's there. And that's what it looks like. So there you go. That's the new spandrel as well. So we've got a few new build mode things. I don't think there's much. Oh, we do have the new gate, actually. That's something I didn't use. Oh, and by the way, along in these build by overviews, there's always stuff that I, I miss out. And certain people are like, oh, you forgot this. Well, you know. If I did, I apologize, but we'll just go through what I <laughs> remember to look at. So this one obviously matches with all the columns. It's got that. We've also got these little sort of light light fixtures on it. I, do they do they light up? Oh, they do light up. That's nice. I don't know. I, it doesn't look like they provide any like light, but they do light up. And it does match in with these actual wall lights that we've got over here. Oh, hello. Oh my God. Okay, let me get down a little bit. It does match in with these wall lights by the looks of it. Uh, obviously going along with that whole set and theme. I'm going to guess they look the same. Yeah, they do. Cool. Yeah, so it matches in with that. So you can sort of tie it all together in one piece. And along with that, we also have the new mailbox, which is very nice. So you can see, obviously, we have this sort of stone theme. Very, uh, very lodge kind of styled almost. I don't know. What would you call this style? I don't know. You probably know. This has a lot of different colors, though. So you can go pretty fun, pretty seasonal as well with some of them. Like, obviously, like that's like a Halloween kind of one. Uh, these like Christmassy ones in there. And then there's obviously more normal looking ones as well. But you got uh, there's a lot of fun different colored ones that you could like paint it different each season if you wanted to. Uh, and that goes along with this sort of new fence set and column set and build mode set. Also new street lamp here. Just a large light that goes along with the set. Which does this? This does have that color too. Unlike these windows over here that don't have it. Actually, does this have the color? This does. Look at that. See, we can match that. We can't match these windows though. I mean, honestly, it's got—it's got to be—it's got to be an accident, right? That, that color's got to exist, but it wasn't put on for some reason. 
I don't know. I'm not going to let that go, obviously. Um, all right. So that's kind of... Is that the build mode stuff? Let me just have a look. I'm pretty sure there is. Uh, glass roofs. They are new, but they, they came in a game update for everyone. That's not just season, so we're not going to really go into that. Oh, we do have a new chimney topping. Uh, so we've got this guy here that we just place on a roof for chimneys. Uh, I don't believe we actually have a new chimney though like a chimney base that you put in the house but we have this again like like all the other stuff it matches in with the color scheme of everything uh so if we go back to the living room i don't believe there's a new oh no there is oh i totally didn't place this either and i totally don't have room for it well let's put it over here yeah see there's there's, there's a lot of stuff that I, I i took ages to place everything but i still haven't placed everything uh obviously a very heavy heavily themed fireplace which i believe is it the same as this one yeah so it is the same as this one here but it's obviously you'd swap it out um, depending on your season. I'm gonna and I'm gonna guess that they have the co matching colors for these, surely. Oh no, they don't. Oh, why would they use different colors? That doesn't make sense to me. If you're gonna use the same chimney, wouldn't you use the same colors on this one? So then you can, and it's the same as this one here, which is also I guess not. But this is the free one you can get in the free pack. Which again, oh okay. So wait, hold up. So these two, they're different, obviously a little bit. But are, wait, are they? Yeah, they are. They just have more colors of it. But strangely enough... Oh, that's so close to being the same. I mean, look, it, it, that was a free item. But it seems odd that they have we have these two fireplaces that clearly match this one that don't have the same color scheme. But you know what? Anyway, so we, <laughs> we do have a new fireplace. Uh, just sort of a reskin of the other one that was free. And the new chimney topper. But back into build mode, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's everything along. We did, we had the themed rooms over there. Oh, the pre-built rooms, which we'll have a look at in a bit. Oh, new foundation as well. That's the other thing we have. Uh, again, matching along with everything. And you can see it down there. It's got the same sort of colors. So that's nice. That goes, goes with everything just fine. And we did fences. We did columns. We did all that. There's no new plants, unfortunately. But having said that, I mean, they have revamped the look of all the plants, obviously, depending on what season it is. Uh, we're in autumn now, I think. That's why our trees are sort of a little bit brownish, yellowy. We're at the beginning of autumn, I think, in this save game. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. I think that is going to do us for build mode. Uh, but, but let's go to buy mode. So I want to go... What's the best way to do this? Because the way I've set this up is very confusing. <laughs> it's very confusing even for me. Like, okay, so a lot of the stuff that comes in this pack... And I've said this so many times, is gameplay stuff. But a lot of the stuff that also comes in this pack is decorative. So there's a ton of decorative stuff that's very similar in nature, but they're a little bit different. So I guess let's let's go through let's go through each category. We're gonna go through decorations, and we'll just sort of go through each of the items and where I've placed them. And you know what? That's a good way to do it. So we've got a few of these sort of table-based decorations, uh, these sort of little garlands and all that, isn't it? Yeah, the jolly garlands. And so I've put them on the table here. So the way these work, they actually I actually thought this was really cool. So they sort of come in little separate pieces. They actually have this is actually a light uh so this is the light variant of it uh, and there's also a light variant of the leaf one too so you can basically lay them out on a table like this and create one continuous um beautiful arrangement in the table each have a bunch of different colors i thought this is quite a nice little decoration um but if that's not your thing then it's completely useless but there uh, you know changing colors like that so if we go i'm gonna go back to decorations uh, this this is the way i'm doing it otherwise i'm gonna get lot oh oh I don't want cats and dogs. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, we have a few different variants. We have the leaf one, which I've just put over there, obviously. Uh, we've got the, the large sort of opulent one right there in the middle. And then we have a bunch of wreaths, which I believe I put a couple of... E Those aren't even the ones... Which Where are these from? Those aren't even these ones. How many wreaths do we have in this pack? Welcome to the Sims 4 wreath stuff. Uh, there's a lot of them. Let me get these out as well. Hang on. Yeah, there's all different ones. There's like a nice flowery one. There's like a, I guess a candy cane one. There's like a, what do you call it? A sort of straw, a twig one for fall. Beautiful. Sorry, autumn. It shouldn't be called. You know what? I feel like it should be called autumn. I, like, I know this is a game made in the US, but surely it should be called autumn, not fall. Just for global. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, <laughs> that's really not an issue. But anyway, um, so yeah, we've got those. Re I don't know where I put the other ones. I feel like they were over here somewhere. Oh, maybe I put them outside? No. But we also do, I really love this new uh, wall plant, which I've got a couple by the door here. This one is really, really nice. It has a bunch of different colors. The flowers come in all different colors as well. Red, yellow, white, green, pink. So you can get all the different variants. It is really, really nice too. I really like this one. Scales up quite nicely as well. Um, probably wouldn't go bigger than that though, because it starts looking a bit strange. You can also go smaller, much like all the items. That's really nice. We also have this new uh, potted plant, which is like a little potted tree that comes in this little glass planter. I almost wish that this planter was an option 
as, you know, like a regular planter, like a little pot, so you could put anything in it. But anyway, uh, that is also a really nice tree. Uh, I really like this one. Again, a bunch of different colors. The leaves come in all different shades, which I really, really like. So you can get a really, like, I think that looks really nice. That sort of red, vibrant, almost like a maple kind of tree, like in, when it, the leaves turn red. Um, anyway, that's really nice. I really like that. I, there's a lot of a lot of plants, a, new, a lot of new plants. And you can see them all here. Uh, these ones, I really love these ones. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to use them all the time, but I'm going to find places to use them again. Most of these plants come with all the different leaf colors. This is a bunch of variants. I almost wish that these just slotted on top of each other. So if I put it here, it sort of just place on top of those and you could stack them up. A way you could do it if you want is go to do the cheat for BB move objects and then sort of, uh, oh, hang on, I've got to get a new one. And then just move it up and you could, you can sort of place them roughly on top. It sort of doesn't fit exactly, which I so I kind of wish they'd sort of design the, uh, the object to work that way. Uh, you go down a bit and then it sort of overlaps itself a bit, but you can, you can stack them up. So you can create really, like, I really like those. Those are cool. And then we have the the wall plants right here, uh, which these ones uh, I really, really love. I, I wish that some of these were separate as well. But, I mean, in this particular item, I'm not going to... It's not like... Look, it's not like the, the potted plant saga from Jungle Adventure. Like, where are they? Are they any? These ones. It's not like this where these are clearly separate plants. At least these are, like, put on a back plate. So it's like part of it, but still, it'd be, it'd be nice to have, like, I want, just in general, not, not like I'm not, I'm not complaining about this item. I love this item. In general, I'd love a lot more plants like this that are sort of hanging over the edges that we can sort of put up on walls, hanging from the ceiling. But I really, really love this item. And again, has a bunch of different colors here for us to play around with. A few different leaf variants in there as well. Super nice. I really, really like it. Um, let me go back to seasons. Here we go. Moving through. Do I? Oh, here we go. This one as well. Really nice. I think this I'm going to be using this one quite a lot, uh, just in homes. It seems like to be a very good... It's a very good mix between, I think, an outdoorsy and an indoors one. It sort of can go anywhere, I think, with the this kind of styling it's got. You can make it sort of fit in a lot of places, so I'm quite happy about that one. I love plants in this game. The more, the merrier. That's what I say. We also have this uh, sort of wall... flower wall thing, which, for some reason, doesn't actually naturally, like, sort of place together. Like, if you just put them next to each other, there's huge gaps in it, which I, I find that quite strange. Like, it's a really nice item, but it seems... And even when you do quarter tile placement like this, it still doesn't quite sit next to itself. So I'm, I'm not really sure why... Like, surely this is, this is like a prime item to, like, sort of stack and create a huge wall with. Like, it's, like, perfect for that. So I don't know why they wouldn't just make it in a way that uh, it was easy to do that. I mean, you can do it like that, but it just seems weird that it wasn't like that. Anyway, other than that... Nice item. Love it. Love all the plants. More, more plants. That's what I say. Now, where was it? Decorations all. I have to keep doing this to get back. All right. So where are we up to? So there's, um, so again, so these are some of the decorations for, this will be for autumn, obviously. Bunch of pumpkin colors there. Very nice. Now, this is a, one of the brand new gameplay items uh, that has a lot of stuff associated with it. Or, if you don't want to deal with that, I think this one... I don't know if this has any gameplay with it, but this is obviously a pre-decorated tree, pre-made tree. Uh, so you don't have to do anything with it if you don't want to. You just choose the colors that you want. Obviously, you have kind of like standard tree there and uh, a few different variants, a few fun colors. Like, look at that. That's a bit of fun. A uh, bunch of ones there. But this tree, this one has a lot of stuff you can do with it. And if you watch my gameplay preview, we'll jump into live mode now because we're going through the, the items. This is our tree here. So this... Uh, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. Place pe presents under the tree, light the tree, lighting controls. We can decorate it, and then there's four different decorative sections we can play around with. You, you can do the tree skirt. So let's just go, let's go do a little bit of it, actually. Let me move him over here. This, by the way, if you watch my Super Sim Challenge, this is not Max. This is actually uh, a similar looking sim called Mox Pua, uh, not Max Power, uh, just because this is a different save game. Anyway, so if we, let's decorate uh, the garland. Uh, Popcorn and cranberry, sure, let's do it. So then, yeah, this is something, and you can get multiple sims to join in and start doing this with each other. So this this is uh, really nice. So this is like just one of the items that has a lot of gameplay associated with it. I think, where are the other ones? Well, the decoration box over here, which we can decorate our house with. That's said we obviously have the beehive, the scarecrow, the weather machine, and we'll get to all that. We'll get to all that, but we're... We're pretty much just scratching the surface. I've got to fast forward here because it's going to take forever. It takes a little while. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, so, I mean, look, I could go through all of these, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that you can do that. And then the other... Where is the other tree? I, oh, it's here. I just put it in the living room. I think... What can I do with this? So this one... Yeah, this one's just a light. 
Um, so you can't do like specific. This is pretty much just a decorative one. You can't do presents directly under it, but I do have this pile of presents, which is another gameplay item where we can add presents, open presents, replace with prank gifts, put in my inventory. So that is going to be like your. Actually, I don't want to put an in inventory. Let's you know what? Let's open a present. So this is a really cool item that you can sort of play around with. Uh, oh, pile of sports equipment! Hooray! Uh, what else can we? So if I put that in my inventory, he just takes a whole pile. <laughs> All for me. Let me just put this back. So yeah, so that's uh, that's that tree that we we're just looking at. Let me just go back to build by, uh, back to decoration. So even though it may be considered a decoration, it is also it has a lot of stuff associated with it. So don't let that slip by. That's a cool item to check out, especially around the holidays. And yeah, we've only decorated two parts of it. We can do all the uh, sort of ornaments on it as well, which we didn't do. Now there are a bunch of like wall, I guess decals almost, because they're not really. They're not paintings, are they? But this, uh, for example, it has a bunch of different variants for each of the different seasons. So different, like this is like very heavily party focused, obviously. So you got like weddings there. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Uh, and then there's like obviously the holidays and oh, look at that, like a New Year's Eve party. So there's a bunch of those. And then also on this one as well, same sort of thing, a lot of decals. I love that one. That one's really cool. Uh, that you can sort of play around with. I don't like to be honest. I don't even know when I would use these. I don't. I don't use. There's a lot of decals in this game. I mean, you can use them, but I don't think I really do. Now, actually, these ones, hmm, these are weird. Uh, so we have, like, this exact item, I believe. Well, not the exact item. It, it has changed. Uh, well, it's changed in the sense that I think it has a different color. <laughs> so these two webs, obviously obviously for the autumn season and, like, trick-or-treating, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this only has uh, four colors, all dark in nature. There's no white sort of cobweb because I'm going to guess I did that exactly because of the fact that is it a wall decorating? Yeah. Spooky stuff has the exact same ones. Uh, so it's the same item, uh, but this has, I'm going to guess, different colors. Yeah, so this has got the white ones and a few different. So same item there, so don't be like, whoa, there's a brand new item. It, I, it is, I guess, if you don't have spooky stuff. But I just want to check something because I put... Out, when I place these outside, the ones from... Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, this is what I noticed. When I place the ones from Seasons outside, they have a big shadow box underneath them. Which is slightly unattractive, and I think that needs to be fixed. Uh, so that's a little broken. <laughs> so that some, somehow, some look, somehow they've copied the exact same item, but made it worse. I don't know how they've done that, but there you go. Anyway, look, inside inside the house it's fine, it doesn't do that. For some reason, just when it's outside, it has that... Uh, I, obviously, it's something to do with the lighting, but... A little strange. Anyway, so if you want to decorate your house with these, you can. Cool. Uh, moving on. Uh, so this... Oh, I really love this new canvas art. So this is uh, just really, really nice. I love it. It has a bunch of different variants. Uh, look at that. And then lots of different colors. Really nice, like warm colors. Uh, lot, oh, this one. I'm gonna, I reckon I'm going to use that leaf one a lot. Oh, look at that. Winter. Summer. It's good. It's good at all. It is really nice. It is really nice. I love it. We've got a brand new mirror as well, which I believe I'm using just over here. You know, all the decorations have shoved around it. This mirror is also really nice and it looks like it goes really well. Like this, this when I saw this gold color, I'm like, oh, wow, that's going to go really well with uh, vintage glamour stuff because I had a lot of black and gold colored things. Also a similar sort of style to it as well. Uh, nice mirror. I do like it. Uh, then we've got a bunch of new curtains. Uh, I mean, we don't, I don't think we really need to look at all of them because it's basically the same curtain, just different sizes. But here it is over here. Uh, and it has a ton of colors, some that are, are a little bit more basic, and then some that have a few little leaves and patterns on it, which is quite nice. I think that's good. It's good. Uh, and then, so these ones are, the, I think these are in the curtain category as well, uh, which are designed to obviously place over windows. I don't really go particularly well with these windows. Oh, this one over here would work quite well. So just, like I said, there's a lot of like decorative, like holiday decoration based sort of items in this. Um, which is why I found it hard to place them around a house because it just started getting really messy. We also have a new awning for some reason. Um, I mean, I'm not, not like I'm complaining. It, it just, I, I don't know why. We just, well, I guess I can say that about anything. Like, why do we have this? I don't know. Anyway, we've got a new awning. So it's just, yeah, that's actually the worst place to see it because like in the shadows. Uh, it is, it is quite nice actually. We have a bunch of different colors on it. Oh my God, the camera. Uh, the one, oh, I love, I love this one where it's like sort of the faded paint. Uh, it almost looks like maybe... Like a copper or something, that sort of green, sort of copper color when it gets like oxidized, but really nice. I, I really like that. I don't know where I'm going to use it, but it is nice. I, I do like that. Uh, and then this is where we start getting random decorations I've just plonked outside. So we got the sort of plastic pumpkin eater. Oh, is this? So this just has a bunch of different faces on it. 
I feel like we had something similar with spooky stuff. We probably did. There, there are a few items that are sort of uh, copied from the other packs, as we've already seen as well, like the fireplace and and that. And obviously, I haven't got up to it yet, but these these tombstones were a these were from spooky stuff for sure, or like vampire or something. I don't know, one of those packs. But anyway, so you do have it in this. So it's like it, it, that's good in a way because I mean, look, if you if you bought this pack and you didn't have anything else, you wouldn't have any decorations a lot of the time. So it's good that they did that. Um, then we've got what have we got here? The Nutcracker. Not too many colors in that. Three different variants. I do really like these. The, uh, what are they called? Totally real reindeer. These are really, really nice. Like, little, sort of, like, mother and child, or father and child, or whatever. Just random adult and child. I really like these. These are super nice little lawn decorations. Lawn, I guess, outdoor decorations. I really like those. Those are cool. <laughs> They're awesome. They've got the larger nutcracker dude, I assume. Is that a nutcracker? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's kind of creepy, but... Good for a toy store, I think. You can do a nice toy store out of that. Uh, that's nice. Uh, so then this looks random, completely out of context by itself. It's just a random pole. Has literally no colors. Which would be like, what the hell is that? But it is to go with this. Uh, so we got these like lanterns just here. That I believe do have a lot of colors. So the lanterns change, the poles do not. Uh, which I, I think is kind of weird. It would probably be nicer if uh, the poles also changed. Had some colors other than orange. It's basically a bright orange pole. Anyway, the lanterns are really nice. And these will- I think these lanterns pop up around the world in some locations. I don't know if Newcrest here has any- some some of the worlds will have a spot where like an ice rink or roller rink will spawn. Um, maybe they go over there. No, I don't think- I don't know if this world has it. But yeah, so these will appear around the place as well. Anyway, nice little lanterns there. Uh, we have a new outdoor umbrella as well. Obviously very good for the seasonal weather and summer and that. You can put up a new umbrella. Have some people sitting under it. Probably, I'm going to assume they probably don't have this like in base game. So they probably added another one in here so you can use it. Nice bunch of colors there. Very nice actually. Very nice like modern contemporary one. Uh, this rustic seasonal signage. Now, I don't know. Does this do anything? I'm not actually sure. I haven't, I haven't completely played with the pack yet. No, it doesn't do anything. Very just decorative kind of thing. I don't know. If you want to use that, there you go. Uh, <laughs> if you want to use it, there it is. Uh, let me go back. Like, like I said, there's, look, where, where are we now? Like 27 minutes in and we're still in decorations. There's a lot of decorations, which is a really good thing. Uh, oh, this, the, okay, the Scarecrow. Really love this one. Does this have... Oh, this does have colors. I didn't even... I haven't even changed colors. So he's got a few different outfit colors. This guy's really cool. If you watch my gameplay uh, previews... He does come to life. You can talk to him. He does give you gardening tips, which we'll go when we go back into live mode. We'll check out all that. Then we have these guys here, which are actually obviously, as you can see, unlocked by the scouting career. Which I don't even know. Is that um, by a scout? I assume that's like for teenagers and children. I don't know how that works, but there you go. The awards lump of coal. I do like this. <laughs> I do like that they added a lump of coal. <laughs> so when you give a present at Christmas time, you give them coal. Now we have these little cards as well. Did I put these anywhere? I feel like I might have run out of room. Oh no, they're over here. Little like holiday cards. Uh, obviously the default is Love Day. But there's a bunch of different ones like Halloween. Uh, just generic autumn ones. Some winter ones. All the sort of different uh, holiday themes as well. So you get a bunch of cards around your place. Uh, we also got the beautiful horn. Horn of Plenty. I don't think I put this anywhere either. I didn't have anywhere to put it. You know what? Let me. We've looked at the table. Well, we looked at the decoration on the table. We haven't looked at the table yet. Uh, the Horn of Plenty. Very good for Harvest Fest. Look at that. It's beautiful. I do really like that item. And then we got Spires of Whimsy. Like I said, just there's so many items I couldn't place them. <laughs> like because this house is well, this demo room is a mess. It is. It's absolutely a mess. Uh, so that's obviously like sort of uh, if you you know have it in center. What do you call it? Like a centerpiece on a table or something, that kind of thing. Uh, which I think it fits really well for that. For each holiday, if you so wish. A large hat and like a little uh, horn as well. Oh, now, so this one, uh, yes, yeah, so I, was, I was speaking about this in my uh, gameplay preview as well. This is that little umbrella stash. Oh, look, it comes in gold as well. Uh, so from this in game, which we'll just have a look at now, uh, you can click on it, take an umbrella, and you choose the color or the, the type of umbrella that you want. So that's pretty cool. So it's got a bit of gameplay. And obviously when it's raining, they'll pull out that umbrella that you've chosen. So that's how you get that guy. Um, which again, it's strange. Like a lot of this, not strange. It, it It's surprising how much of this stuff is, while it's in decoration and decorative, it does have a lot of gameplay with it, which is really, really cool. Oh my God, we're still like, not even, okay. <laughs> little, uh, this is like a little outdoor sort of uh, pack with towels. And I don't even know what that is. Just some towels and like a pillow maybe. 
just to put outside as decoration. Got a few new rugs here. And this is obviously a very uh, holiday themed little rug. Bunch of different colors. This one, I really like this as like a hallway runner. Has some really nice colors, really bright, uh, really bright colors on it. Oh, it's nice. It is nice. That's that rug there. We also have this other rug, which again has some nice colors on it as well. I should be using this. And then some blank ones as well, which is always useful. Then we got this one, which is kind of funky. A puddle in fabric, which I've used here underneath the living room. This is like, what is this? It's looking so funky. It's like some 70s housing. Uh, where can I put this? Let's go outside. Let's go outside and have a look. This also has a bunch of nice colors to it. It's like a weird sort of malformed avocado almost, which is a bit of fun. Uh, <laughs> which, bit of fun. Anyway, that's kind of cool. I, li I do like that. Uh, there's that fireplace we already looked at, and then there's a bunch of wall decorations that we have sort of put up around the room. I've got this one somewhere. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here it is. These little flower things. A lot of different colors. You can you can do a lot of stuff with it. Got these little, what are these, like little paper cutouts. A bunch of different variations on them. Got this sort of wreathy garland thing. Garland Express is what it's called. There's the twigs, the twig wreath. Got some flowers you can put up on the wall. Look at that, it's beautiful. Another wreath. Look, if you were looking for wreaths, you've got it. Obviously, got like some holiday banners here as well with different words on them. Uh, probably worked quite well scaled up too. Yes, it does. Look at that, beautiful. Um, this thing. There you go. A lot of decorations, which I didn't know how to put around the room. So I'm just going to go through them. So if you want to decorate, you can totally do it. This one's quite good because it does have a lot of different... Um, like, I mean, what is this? I don't know, but you could use it to decorate, which is cool. <laughs> it's like, hey, if you want some white dots hanging... Oh, that one's nice with like the, the leaves. I quite like that. And then, are these, is this cards? Yeah, these are different cards as well that you can hang up. Uh, got some stars. Everybody likes stars. Got some, what do you call it, like streamers. Uh, oh, oh yeah, so these towels go with the new bathroom set, which we'll have a look at in just a second. So those are the towels, and then, oh, I think I've also put that in there, have I? Yeah, I have. That's part of the bathroom set. Uh, these presents here, I believe these are also an interact interactive pile of presents, I think. Or maybe they're just decorative, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a second. Got some more, like, ceiling-based decorations here that you can hang up, which is also really nice, so look at that. Hey, if you want to decorate, this is the pack for you. you got some hanging stars. we got some of these. Lan these are actually lights, I believe. These ones here are lights. Uh, actually, I think these are lights too. Because I hung them up in here. Yeah, these are these are both lights. Um, so there's that. These are kind of cool. Could be in some sort of weird modern place if you wanted. Uh, this here, I re first of all, I really like the look of this item. Because it looks exactly like how we store our decorations in real life. <laughs> In these plastic tubs. But this, as we saw earlier, is what you can use to decorate the entire house, which we'll have a look at closely in a minute. Got this sort of shelving unit that's just over here that's got like some scarves and outdoor weather gear on it. Uh, there's a the large pile of presents that we looked at before. This also has a nice bunch of colors to it. And that is the gameplay uh, of giving gifts and all that. And we have this sort of buffet, side buffet thing. There it is. A bunch of plates in it, as you can see. It's quite nice. Quite like it, actually. It's a nice one. Solid. All right, so that's decorations. Let me go back to live mode here, because I want to just check. Does this have gameplay on it? Oh, it does. Okay, so these this small pile of presents is the same as a large one in terms of what you can do with it, which is cool. Uh, now this, let's have a look at the decorations. Let's go ahead and um, select everyday decorations. Let's uh, decorate. So we can decorate spandrels, freezers, foundations, fences, and eaves all separately. So you can decorate everything or you know, obviously nothing. Uh, so let's go ahead and decorate. Uh, let's, let's do foundations because we've got a lot of foundations. Now, once we do this, you can filter by, you know, whatever type you want. Or you can just scroll through everything and they're all in here. There's a lot of stuff. Let's just do some nice colored lights. So he'll go to the box and then that should appear because I selected foundation. There you go. And they are like little animated lights that they go up on all the foundations on the lot. And then we can also do... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still a little sick. Uh, we can go ahead and select, uh, let's do some fence decorations. Maybe for these, we'll just do some more simple lights. Maybe just some white large lights. So that will come around this little fence here. Uh, oh wow, look at these spandrels, they're disgusting. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then we can go uh, select everyday decoration. Let's do some spandrels. Maybe we can go for... I would like, you know what, I like, yeah, I like the little twinkling lights. Maybe just white lights up there, because we got the colored ones down the bottom. So that should hang down from these spandrels. Also, I think we have, we do have a spandrel inside. It doesn't look like that has actually got the decorations on it. Uh, so it's decorated all these ones out here. And do we have any other spandrels? I don't think so. Anyway, so that, that's how that works. And then you can um, go ahead and reset 
And that should, does that resetting it to get rid of them all? Yeah. So that just clears out all the decorations. So you can have a lot of fun with that, which is really cool. So that, I kind of count that as a bit of a build-by thing, uh, which is, because it's a bit of decoration. So we got uh, that. What was the other thing we are going to look at? I don't know. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of stuff. This little scout book here, though, is cool. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to I feel like there's something else. Uh, there's so much stuff. That, all right, so decorations. Well, let's have a look. Let's go comfort because I think I think we covered most of the stuff in comfort besides the beds. Uh, I just really... Let's just go through category by category. Oh, we got some dining chairs and all that as well. Right, so we do have a bunch of new beds. Um, we've got three new beds. We've got two new double beds, which we placed here, which I quite like. I almost wish... I mean, this one, I don't know. I don't really like that pattern on the bed, but the actual bed itself is quite nice. Uh, pretty simple. Bunch of different colors on it. We've got this other one that's obviously a little larger, a little bit more, a little bit nicer. Got a sort of like throw on it as well. There you go, that one there. And then we got this one, which is really cool. It's like this single bed with the little curtains above it, which is really really nice. A little bit fancy. So those are the new beds there. We already looked at the, the new uh, the new like lounge chairs. We have a couple of new dining chairs. Uh, so we've got these ones here around the dining table, which I'll talk about the dining table in a second too. So they, I do, I actually really like these dining chairs. I think these ones are super nice. Uh, I love the sort of like little wicker base to them. And then the other one I believe I'm using in here with the matching, uh, well, I don't know if that particularly matches, but the, the new desk that we have. I think that desk matches better with the other one. I think these chairs, I think I've done it the other way around. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Anyway, these chairs clearly go with that dining table on those. Those chairs go with this desk, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. So we got this chair here. Obviously a new uh, sort of modern looking dining chair, which I really like. I really like that chair. And while we're here, let's just look at this desk. Uh, pretty simple. It's a desk. It's nice. Okay. Moving on to surfaces, which I believe... There's quite a few things. Don't have any new kitchen stuff, which is, uh, like I was saying before, there's a lot of gameplay stuff. Not a lot of new sets of existing things. Now... While we're on this dining table, I got a bone to pick with it. First of all, it looks really, really nice. That's not my bone to pick with it. It looks really nice. I really, really like it. What annoys me though is more just like if this was if this were a real life thing. If you, if you were to put a chair here and try to sit here uh, in real life with that, you can't. First of all, you can't pull in the chair because the, the table leg is right there, and then your leg is going to be smushed in there. You're going to have to sit sideways. You can't sit there. The chair's going to have to be here. Uh, I mean, although in real life you'd probably put it. Hang on, I need to get another chair here so I can just... Can I... Here, place it freely. It has to be probably about there-ish somewhere. But yeah, it's like... <laughs> this is real, you can't sit there. And likewise, you can't put a chair... There's no way you could sit here. No, the, the legs don't make any sense. Anyway, like that, in Sims, obviously that makes no difference. But <laughs> that's just something that I wanted to point out. Because I'm like, that is... That's ridiculous. Um, Alright, let me go back to my surfaces here. So, we also have a couple of little side tables around the place. We've got this one here, which is this glass one. Uh, which, again, really, really nice. I really like this one. Super, super modern. Well, not, not necessarily super modern. It can sort of fit into both. But it can be quite a modern sort of style table, which I really like. Got a nice big glass slab on the top there. And we have this very, very decorated one. With a tablecloth that can, again, one of those ones that can be very easily themed around the seasons. Or it can sort of be kept a little bit more subtle. Well, not really. I mean, a little bit less in your face in terms of holiday stuff. Like, you can, you can go all out, or you can keep it a bit bit less than that. Uh, then we have a couple of new side tables, or like end tables, uh, which I've used. These ones here in this bedroom. Uh, really nice. Obviously a very seasonal looking one with a sort of floral arrangement on the side. Uh, all the sort of standard colors you'd expect. And we've got this huge like wooden block, which I look, I don't think it particularly looks good in this bedroom that I've done. Don't don't judge these the way I've laid things out as uh, how they look. But it's just a big wooden block, which I think would be very good for... Uh, you could probably do like a nice... If you do like a plant on top of that, it'd probably actually look really good. Uh, but yeah, that's that one there. Then we already had a look at the two coffee tables earlier because this whole overview is like all over the place. We looked at the... We already looked at the dining table. We saw the... Um, little coat thing there and we saw the buffet so that's all our surfaces moving through to plumbing yeah so we do actually have a brand new bathroom set which i really really like i, I do i love i love the new shower actually um i love this look with the glass i don't know i really i think the, the new shower is probably this is one of my favorite items i think just i really love it <laughs> i really really like it uh so if we have a look at this this has a bunch of nice colors uh as well very very contemporary or could be uh, utilized in a um industrial manner as well i think could work really well that way a lot of gold a lot of gold coming back in this pack as well if you want to use that also really like the bathtub um i don't know that it would the bait look the base is interesting i like it don't get me wrong but it'd also be nice to have the bathtub without that base you know what i mean <laughs> or it's not always all about that base sometimes it is 
And don't get me wrong, it does look really nice, but it'd be nice to have an option without the uh, sort of wood around the bottom as well. Really nice though, I really like it. Got the new sink uh, little thing here. Kind of, I really, why can't we get this sink by itself, you know, just to put on in a counter? That'd be cool. Some, yeah, some, actually, you know what, some of these things, um, like that would, that'd be a good sink to just have in a counter. Like, I know this, this matches the counters, but you know what I mean? Like, or like this one as well. Obviously it wouldn't stick, like it wouldn't sit on top of it, but it'd be like in the counters. But some of these I'm always like, man, I wish we had this just in a counter. Because the ones that we have in counters, first of all, we don't, when do we even get new sinks? Like, how come whenever we get new sinks, it's always a huge thing? Like, look at this. We, with all these in-counter sinks, we only have one new one that didn't, <laughs> that didn't come in base game. And it was from Cool Kitchen Stuff. I'm saying it here now. We need more sinks for counters. Anyway. No, that is very nice. Oh, here's the towels that we we're looking at earlier. That's, I think, what I was talking about earlier. I was like, what did I forget? New towels, quite nice, uh, right there. Got the new toilet as well. Uh, it's nice. The one thing I thought was kind of weird, uh, kind of, well, weird, well, no, not weird, interesting, is that it sort of sits away from the wall. So I don't really know where, where are you flushing the waste to? I guess you'd have to, like, drill into the, the floor and then it, because normally a toilet it just goes back here. That's where the waste would flush out, but I guess this one drills into the ground and goes somewhere else. Anyway, it's quite nice. I do like it. And here's like the new little uh, side cabinet thing as well. Bunch of colors there. So that's a new bathroom set. Oh, this is a new light while we're here, actually. The dome ceiling light, uh, which is pretty, pretty simple, uh, which is great because that means it can go in a lot of places. A lot of different colors as well for it as well. Really nice. Uh, okay, so that was plumbing, activities and skills. Oh, there's a lot of things in activities and skills. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that right now. Yep. All right. So we've had a look at a lot of this stuff already. The scouting badge board. I don't know if I can look at this because I'm an adult. Um, let's find out. I haven't tried. Nope. Can't do anything with it. Uh, but that's to do with all the, the I think, teens and children. Um, there was a little bit of that in my gameplay preview, but that's there. I guess that's for a build by overview. That's not really that related anyway. Uh, activities and skills. More. Go back to seasons, please. I want to see all the other stuff. Now, we did look at the, the presents already, the decorations. Oh, the uh, the thermostat. Okay, we'll have to look at that, which I placed just here. Does it have any different colors? Oh, it does. Really simple. Uh, so it's a little thing that goes on the wall, which we'll have a look at in a minute. We also have the flower arranging table, which is here, uh, which I mean, I've actually put over here in my little greenhouse area. So this has a few different colors as well, which is quite nice. I quite like the yellow. You know, I'm going to go yellow on that one. We also have... Uh, the water balloon bucket, which I've placed there. And then we have a whole bunch of the roller and skating rinks. Obviously, a roller rink and a skating rink is basically the same thing, but just depending on the season. So two different sizes of both of them. And then I think there's also, for each of the sizes, there's like a sort of fancy looking one. And then a much more, uh, I don't know, what, what do they call it? Just rustic, a rustic one. Yeah. So then that's the same for each of them. So that like the, the skating rink there. And then there's like the small fancy one, the small rustic one. Yeah. So there's the two sizes and two variants of each uh, of the of them. So they're there. They have a lot of customization, which we'll also have a look at. Do, wait, do these have different colors? Oh, they do. Okay. I didn't actually look at that before. Yeah, nice. So there's a few different colors on them. I mean, they're really cool. They're really fun to play with. We've also got the weather machine, which I've placed just over here, which we'll have a look at in just a minute. I mean, it changes weather. We have a bunch of new food stores. We've got comfort food stores, spring, uh, summer, and the winter ones, which I placed over here. I mean, look, they look like food stalls, like any other one, no colors on them. They just got little signs. Uh, so there you go. The new sprinklers as well. These are really cool. So these actually water your plants if you put them near your gardening, which is really, really handy. They also have three different colors. You can also play in them, uh, play through the water, like turn on sprinklers and play in them. We also have the new uh, like kiddie pool. We got the sort of more standard one just here. You can have it really look standard looking and have a bit of fun with it. Or you can get this one, which is a little bit more involved. It has like palm trees coming off it, some fun little color variants, and also shoots like a mist of water in live mode, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. We also have the beehive, which we can take care of bees, uh, which is also really cool. Make honey, sell honey, uh, a bunch of good colors in that. We'll have, again, we'll have a look at this in a minute. <laughs> just gonna get through all this stuff. We've got the new swings set. So swings are finally back in the Sims as well after a long time. A lot of fun colors on this or just some pretty simple ones. Just like really standard ones or, you know, have a bit of fun with it. Now, that is the activities and skills. So all of these, let's have a look at all of these real quick. So I guess it's just start over here. We've got the kiddie pool. We can go lounge in it. As you may have seen in my gameplay preview as well, we, uh, toddlers can also sit in it. Yeah, he just lounges like that. Pretty simple stuff. It does cool them down uh, as well. I don't know, do we have a private pool from lounging in a kiddie pool. So let's go lounge in the other one as well. I mean, the same thing here. 
You're just sitting there. But this one should turn on. Yeah, the little water mist there as I was again. A little bit of mist. It's quite nice. So those are the two pools. Uh, the swing set. I mean, as you may imagine, jump on a swing. Have a bit of fun. You can also get another sim to push you on the swings. So there you go. Look at that. It's beautiful. So that's that. Uh, what else? The beehive. We can try and bond with the bees. Uh, at the moment, how are they How are they towards me? They're, okay, the bees are quite calm. They're not grumpy. So they shouldn't sting me. So I'll say hello. Hello, bees! So this is really cool. You can, uh, you know, make money selling honey or just keep the honey yourself uh, and do all that. All right, that's that guy. Then we've got over here, we got our scarecrow, which I mentioned before. We can, uh, dis like, have a conversation with him. And he sort of animates. And he will come to life and sort of walk around your lot and, and all that kind of stuff. So there's a bit of fun you can do with that. Uh, over here, we can play in the little sprinklers. We can also upgrade them, I assume, not to break. your yeah, unbreakable. And puddle prevention. Oh, cool. So they won't make puddles. That's kind of cool. Which I imagine we can probably just do... Oh, I can't do an instrument upgrade. Oh, I did it too recently. I upgraded that. Um, so, the, yeah, those will automatically turn on and water plants as well, which is cool. Uh, what was the other gameplay stuff? We had... Oh, I guess the rinks. Uh, this has a bunch of stuff. We can customize the rink. Uh, choose what kind of music we want to have. So we play music. Uh, set the effects. So if we want confetti... We start getting confetti falling all over it. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Lighting as well. Turn on party lights, which we can do. There you go. And then you can set the lighting. Change the party light stencil. Like, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. And the same, the exact same thing over there for the that rink. Look at that. Very seasonal. Uh, it's also getting a little dark now, which I wish, I wish the weather machine could make it daytime again. But this one, we can change the forecasts. Uh, and, you know, whatever forecast, we can change the season completely if we want to do that. Change the current weather. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to be locked from the beginning, so you will have to upgrade it. Also, the, depending on what your handiness skill is, that's what the upgrades you can do to it. Uh, but let's go ahead and change, you know what, change current weather. Let's just make it snow. Why not? We're going to do that. He's got maximum handiness skill. That's why I'm using Mox, Mox Pua for this, is because he has the maximum handiness skill that we can mess around with. Uh, and then over here, the flower arranging uh, table. Uh, blue bell. Let's make an arrangement. There's a whole bunch of them, depending on how high you, how your skill is as well. Uh, what? Uh, okay, so I think some of this is based on... So there is a flower arranging skill, but I think it's also based on gardening. The gardening skill. I'm not actually sure. You know what? I don't know. Anyway, so we can do some flower arranging. He plays around with that. And now it's snowing. Look at that. This is beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Oh my. There's so much stuff. All right. Uh, where are we up to? We did activities and skills. Let me just make sure I didn't miss any of that stuff just then. So we're going through it. Let's go all. So we did. We did. Oh, the thermostat. We got to look at. Oh, no, the little bucket. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah. So the bucket, uh, I believe. Yeah. Filled with water balloons. Let's go ahead and do that. Look at that. And then I don't think I can do anything with it because to be honest, there's only one sim here. But <laughs> you can have water balloon fights. Uh, and then so the thermostat. Now, I am not 100% sure what the point of this is. I'm going to be honest because I don't know. So at the moment, like if we have a look at the weather. So the weather at the moment is cold. It's freezing. So if we go to the thermostat, it will say, hey, if you lower the temperature uh, in your home, it will raise your power bill. So and then if with this, it's like this will raise your temperature, but raise your power bill. And I think when it's hot, if you actually make it warmer... I don't know, it, it, it changes depending on the weather, but at the same time, when I do this, like, let's say, let me go change that to warmer. I don't know what it does, like, besides changing my bill, I don't, does it give him, oh, central, okay, so it gives him, okay, it gives him a moodlet, but that, you don't really need to do that, like, it, that's kind of all it does, and makes you spend money. So if you want to do that, it's there, anyway, <laughs> it is, I guess it's a nice little item just to add into a home as well. Uh, oops, uh, let me just... Can I make it brighter? Oh. So now it's snowing. It's kind of kind of a bit dingy. Anyway, that's activities and skills. We did decorations, thank God. Pets. Is there any new pet stuff? <laughs> My first pet stuff. Uh, no, I mean, I feel like bees could almost be in the pets category, you know? Anyway. Uh, kids, I think. Yeah, so we do have the, the Scout Badge board, which has some gameplay associated with it, with the, the children and all that. Uh, we do also have the Scouting Manual, which I placed over here, which... Can I do anything with this? So this is obviously to do with the Scouting career. I can read it. I feel like for an adult, it's just a book and it's not going to do anything, right? Yeah, he's just reading it. All right. Well, anyway, so that's that. That's the new stuff for kids. So kids, uh, they actually have a lot of new stuff uh, with the, between scouting, the swings, the kiddie pool. There's a lot of new stuff that kids can actually do. And for example, and toddlers also obviously have the new swimmer category for the kiddie pool, which is pretty nice. Lighting wise, uh, a lot of this we've already sort of seen. It's been around. Uh, I've put a bunch of the lights here on the table as well. This one is kind of strange. It's like a paper bag, but a light. I don't know. Does it have different... I assume it... Uh, yeah, so it does if we place it out. It has like a bunch of different like... 
themed ones. But yeah, it's like a, I guess, it, I mean, you know what, it's, it's like a, clearly like a DIY light that you make and put a paper bag over and light up. So that one's there. We've got a new, this little lantern here with a little bow on it. We had a look at a mo most of these. We've got this new lamp as well. And new standard lamp, which is quite nice. I quite like that. Um, obviously, a decorative light here with, with this little snowman. That's yeah, beautiful. I had a look at that tree. Got the, I actually really like this um, this lamp, which, by the way, this looks like it goes with something from another set, uh, which I'll look at in a minute. These gravestones, which are lighting. Got this ceiling light, which I've actually got up here, hanging above. Whoops. Very, uh, very seasonal theme of his decorative. We had a look at that light. Oh, we got this new wall light as well, which is actually hiding up here. It just looks like a wooden beam, which I kind of like. It's quite nice. You can sort of hide it away. Uh, we got that wall light we had a look at earlier. We got this other wall light just here. Very simple. Like, is it? It's a nice mix between obviously very heavily themed items for, for decorating, and then there are some really more simple, like very generic items that could go anywhere, which is really nice. So that's lining electronics. Do we have anything? Oh, the thermostat. Uh, appliances. Uh, we have. A, wait, what? A post box in an appliance? Anyway, we had a look at that stuff. Oh, wait, how is this an appliance? <laughs> that makes no sense. Anyway, umbrellas are apparently an appliance. We already looked at that too. Storage wise. Oh, the bookcase. And a couple of dresses. Okay, well, I think we're done. <laughs> so the bookcase is just over here. I really like this one. It's quite tall as well. So it's good for larger walls. Nice selection of colors there. And we have the two new dresses which are over in this room here. Man, this is a long video. Uh, which obviously go with the sets. Uh, 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 what did I do with the other one? Did I not place the other one? Oh, huh. I didn't. Anyway, here it is. Obviously goes with the, uh, the that little side table there. And table there by the bed. Yeah, cool. So that, by the by the looks of it, is everything built by related. <laughs> Finally, Jesus. And then obviously you can uh, make it look nicer. But yeah, so we do also have these themed rooms, which I think give a better idea of how you can sort of use these items to make a nice looking place. So obviously this is a very heavily decorated living room here with the little presents, the, the tree that you can decorate, all the, all the garlands and that. We've got the new bathroom set in there, which is really nice. That bedroom set there. Little office. Uh, the little foyer, I guess, and then this like the little, I guess, the little outdoor shed almost, because you got like the hose in it, little box, decorating box out there. Yeah, it's definitely like a little shed set up. This is a little greenhouse that they've built. You can obviously just plonk down if you want to use it. It's got a couple of pots in it. Uh, really nice stuff. I, I this one here, this little outdoor gardening area, super nice too. You got a little scarecrow, the beehive. You got a couple of sprinklers out of water all your plants. Flower arranging. This is a really nice little setup there. Um, and then we got this other little outdoor one. There's like a very summery sort of outdoor one with a bar and a little kiddie pool. But that, oh my god, I think that, I think we're done. I think that is uh, the season's build by overview. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, but like, yeah, like I said many, many times throughout this, a lot of the items are very, obviously, obviously you're not going to use all these items at once. Um, because a lot of them are seasonal decorations. Uh, there's, when you look at it, I guess if you're looking purely for new items to just place in your everyday homes, there's a, like a couple of new living room sets, new, like new sofas, there's a new bathroom set and new bedroom set, like a few bedroom sets as well. And then like the office. And then other than that, it's mo oh, and the dining sets as well. And then other than that, you got a few like uh, sort of side pieces, like bookcases, like a few like generic sort of living room sets. I guess you have a essentially like a new living room. Uh, and then, oh, we didn't look at this, the little new kids decoration table, which by the way is the same as all the others, but it's just new. Uh, <laughs> there it is. And, and the new windows, new windows and door sets. Um, yeah, and then a lot of the other stuff has gameplay, which I think is really, really good. So there's a lot of new things to do in the game. Build by doesn't have a lot. Uh, I, I say that very, like not in a negative way. I almost am not upset, like I'm upset about it at all. There's a new chimney as well, because... Some other packs have come with a lot more stuff in terms of just items, but this one has so much gameplay. And we also got the glass roofs for free, so everybody has that. And so that is brand new for build mode, obviously, which is great. But yeah, overall, um, overall, I think it's a, it's a really, really nice arrangement of items. And if you really want to go heavy on decorating, go for it. There's a lot of, there's a lot of cool things you can do. But yeah, I think that's going to do it. I think we're done. <laughs> Leave your thoughts, opinions, and feedback down below in the comments. Uh, I really like it though. I really, really like it. And I think once we get more into, into the game itself and start playing around with stuff, I think we're going to like it even more. And I think I'm going to try and, well, actually, you know what? We'll have to, we'll have to make money because I'm going to be doing a Rags to Riches series. We're going to have to make money to be able to decorate, but it'd be fun to start decorating around each holiday season with all these little new items that we've got. But until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.